Hi, Sam. How are you doing, Tom? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I love your portico here in the front of your house. Thank you. I love all the molding detail. I like the way they did elliptical ceiling. And I like that fan detail up above everything. It's really nice. Thank you. Nice thing about a portico, though, you get in there, you get up to your house. If it's raining, you can fight with the key, get in the lock, and you don't get soaked. That's right. Yeah. Well, the portico is what I emailed you about, actually. Oh. Um, these columns here, I'm a little concerned about the base. Well, it's not unusual for these bases to rot. Did you replace these? I didn't. I just moved in, so I'm not sure when the last time these have been worked on. Oh, well, the column base here is just one square block. Then they have the molding detail, and then this filler block that somebody probably put in here to cut off some of the damaged section of the column. And what happens once they rot, the moisture coming up from the concrete will grow right up into the wood of the column. It just sucks it right up there. The column itself, it's pretty solid. But as I look at that one over there, that one looks like it's in trouble. I think that's a different story. Yeah. This column base, you can definitely see that it's rotted. Yes. Unlike the other one, this is made up of four individual pieces that are mitered on the corner. So that joint will actually rot faster. But the column, well, the column itself sounds pretty good. It's still solid, but if you look at this base, I mean, that's rotted. Yep. So we're gonna uh, have to replace that. All right, and how are we gonna do that? Well, the first thing we need to do is jack up the roof just a little bit to take the weight off of the base so we can take it out. And there it is, it's up. Just give it a little more right there. Perfect. So now we can take our pieces out. Oh, look at that. That's carpenter ant damage right there. They just like to eat that wood so they can make a nest somewhere in your house. All right, we'll take all that out. Oh yeah, there was the nest right there. Look at the damage they do. Yeah, wow. Now we're ready to make the new base. Great. All right, Sam, this is the material we're gonna be using right here. It's called rice hull board. It's a, basically a recycled product. So if you take rice and you bang it, all the little hulls that fall off of the rice, this is the main ingredient, along with recycled plastic and a little bit of salt. Okay. All that rice hull is encapsulated in the plastic, and then it's compressed into the dimensional lumber that we see here. So I like it because uh, we've soaked it in water. Water didn't do anything to it. They say you can glue it up. We glued it up with a polyurethane glue. It glues up very nicely, and it works really good with the tools. And you'll never have to worry about ants getting to this. That's what I like to hear. All right, so let's get started on our column base. All right. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the square base, and I need to level it before we do any of the cutting for the circle or anything like that because the concrete is really out of level. Yep. So first thing I've done is I've leveled the base in both directions. Now I take the fillers that I'm gonna use for the perimeter and I've marked half an inch down from the top. I'm gonna to place this one here on the face. I'm gonna set my scribe for that height right there I'm going to take my scribe and follow the concrete right here. Okay, so this would be number one. I'll take my next piece that's going to go here. I'll scribe it again. I mark this number two. Take the next piece over here and I'll scribe that. And that's number four. So now that we've got our pieces scribed, we've got our block that we had over there. It's upside down, so we're going to use a fast setting glue. It's going to take four to five minutes to set up. One there, one in the middle. The nail will act like a clamp. Good. All right. Should I say you nailed it? Okay. All right. All right, Sam, so we've made up our base and we've placed it roughly where it's gonna go. Next is we're gonna use this ornamental piece right here for the circle, and we're gonna cut that out of two pieces of three quarter inch material. I've got a center mark. Now I'll just make a radius. We'll cut this with a jigsaw.
Now the next thing I want to do is I want to put the detail in that with the router. All right, so we have our lower circle cut. Now we got to cut the second circle for the top piece. All right, so now we need to cut two pieces to fit on the top of this in a circle, and it will be just a little bit bigger than the diameter of the column. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw these two pieces together and cut it as one. Okay, now a little bit of sanding. So now we need to drill holes in the center of each one of the pieces so the air will go up inside the column, keeping it dry. And now we're ready to install the pieces. Slide that in, line it up where it goes. That looks good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to run a bead of construction adhesive right in this caulk joint here. So it'll do two things. It will seal the joint, but it also bind the two together. Now we're going to let the post down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to relieve the pressure on the jack. There it goes. So now what I need to do is I need to clean that up a little more. I'm going to push this in with my finger nice and tight, fill that joint, smooth it out. I'm going to screw in right here. All right, Sam, your rotted post base is all replaced. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? It looks brand new. All right, so now whoever's going to paint this, make sure they do a light sanding put a primer on, and then fill all the holes with an exterior wood filler. Sounds good. I think that person's going to be me. Okay, well, good. All right, Sam, well, it's time for me to clean up and get out of here. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Tom. Thanks. My pleasure. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.